Hi everyone, welcome back to Flesh's Week part 4. Um, I know in the last video I said that I was going to try and knock these out a bit quicker. It hasn't really happened, so apologies for that. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is part 4. Uh, so uh, just a quick update on where I am with my Horus Heresy Iron Hands. Um, so following on from the last video, this was something that I was considering uh, adding into a force. Um, had a few battles against guys with these and they seem to be working really well. So I thought, uh, yeah, I've got to get some. So I opted for the two. Uh, I know three is supposed to be really good, but I thought I'd just go with the two uh, to start off with and then add another one if I wanted. Um, They've been mixed for me, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, they're either absolutely amazing or hit nothing. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, I think they're worth having in in a heresy army. Uh, the way you can sort of select all the ammo and, uh, you know, sort of customise it for how you want to play, really. That's, that's quite good. But anyway, that's enough rambling. I'll just bring a couple up so you can have a... Have a look what I've uh, been doing with them. If I can get the camera to actually focus, there we go. So he's just sort of one of the uh, the spotters. I was actually wanting sort of the Mark III armor, but unfortunately the thud guns come with Mark IV, so I had to go with that. Uh, so yeah, he he's all done there. Um, I'll bring one of the guns up themselves. To be honest with you, I didn't enjoy painting these. They don't look you know, like they'd be a hard kit to paint, but I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy it. Um, so I was quite glad to see the back of them. So I think I probably will just stick with the two, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, like I say, they're, they're a nice looking model, but yeah, just didn't really feel the love when I was painting it. Um, yeah, I've got obviously one bald gunner, one helmeted gunner, one helmeted spotter, one bald spotter. So uh, yeah, but pretty happy with how the faces have come out, the details on the scanner as well, it's not too bad. So yeah, um, that's them. Uh, what next did I add? These guys, what I added next, a uh, squad of Catfracti Terminators. These are, again, are the ones from the Betrayal of Kalf box set. Um, but you know me, I have to just tinker, that is what I do. Plus, you know, iron hands. You kind of got to do it a bit, haven't you? So there's a few sort of minor conversions in there, but just to make them, you know, feel like my own, really. Um, so let's just grab a couple of these up to show you. Um, magnetized most of them at the wrist, just in case I wanted to swap out for any sort of combi weapons or anything. So this guy's the sergeant. Uh, on the top there, I've just put uh, a little scanner. I can't remember for the life of me where that's from, to be honest with you. And then I've just used some wire um, just to sort of link up into the scanner and linked the chain fist. Uh, that's from Zing Industries. I think the scanner's from Zing Industries as well. That's where I tend to get a lot of my stuff from. Definitely check those guys out. They've got some really good conversion bits. So he's the sergeant, because clearly he's the sergeant because he's pointing. Uh, next... I'll grab this guy. So here is my flamer. Um, obviously, this isn't the uh, the flamer from the uh, Kalf box set. It's uh, it's it's kind of is up to sort of there, and then this end piece. Again, I think that's a um, Zing Industries, or it might be Cromlech or something like that. So uh, yeah, sort of chop that off just to sort of give it its own look really and then obviously just a little light on the uh, the top and some more some more wires uh, some melter bomb on the back there just to again sort of customize it a little bit make them stand out put some extra um, purity seals and things like that on them as well just to give them a little bit of extra detail because they 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 they're sort of okay they're not as detailed as the forge world ones um, but they're about a quarter of the price of the Forge World ones, so that's why I thought, well, I'll, I'll add some extra details in myself. Um, so, next guy, uh, this one's not magnetized actually, I thought it was. Um, 
that's the chainsaw, um, the little chainsaw bit that you get with most of your um, bolter kits from Forge World. Again, chain fists and wires. Uh, that is actually on top. That is the grenade um, pack that you, you actually get with the Terminator set. Um, and I just sort of chopped the front off and uh, and used a couple of um, what they call targeting um, scopes that you get on most tactical squad sprues. Uh, just to sort of make it look like he's got his own little scanner or something like that. So uh, that's him. Uh, the last guy with the uh, chain fists. Uh, again, uh, just used all sort of the extra wires, extra purity seal. Oh, the shoulder pads as well. They're obviously the, the Forge World um, shoulder pads that you can buy. Um, definitely recommend doing that. It just looks so much better than just having the plain plastic ones. Um, the thing on top, I'm not sure if it's even supposed to represent maybe some sort of radar, some scanner or something like that. I think it's actually a breaching charge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a breaching charge. Uh, it's just anything I can find in my bits box. Just stick on my models and customise them, make them look a little bit better. Um, and then, last guy. Uh, he's just a normal power fist marine uh, this one's magnetized at the wrist so if I want to get a plasma blaster or one of those special weapons this is the guy that can wield it uh, again one of the scanners from I think Zing Industries or something a few wires and some extra purity seals on the leg there so uh, yeah pretty happy with how that whole squad uh, came out these these perform really well um, don't underestimate Terminators with a 2-up, 4-up. Uh, it's pretty good, especially if you stick them in something like a Land Raider or something like that. Um, yeah, they're definitely worth having, and uh, you can use them in 40k as well, which is what I do mainly. Um, so yeah, happy with them. So what did I add next? The Gorgon himself. I had to add him. Played a few battles. There was one against Winters. And um, if you don't know, Richard basically collects all the Primarchs. So he's he's got all that have been released at the moment painted up in his little display cabinet. So I've been borrowing his. So when you've seen me sort of uh, using Ferris in, in a battle, it's it, it has been Richard's. But uh, in the last battle it had against Winters, um, he basically... That was the, the 10,000 point battle. Um, he basically ran into an Imperial Knight and destroyed it in one round of combat. I think the next turn he killed another Imperial Knight, and the next turn he killed an entire squad of Skatari, and then he was running towards the Reaver Titan, but then we shot it to death. So I would have really liked to see if he could punch a Reaver Titan out. But uh, after doing that, I literally put my dice bag down, and again, obviously we're in uh, Warhammer World, put my dice bag down, walk straight into the Forge World store, I'll have a Ferris Manus, please. So here he is. So, uh, yeah, I've li literally not uh, long painted the, uh, finished painting this guy. Um, if you haven't got Primark, you need to go out and buy one because they are absolutely beautiful models. The detail on them is insane. And they do, they seem to like just paint themselves really so I'm really happy with uh, with how this guy has come out just try and get him to, to focus um, so yeah I've uh, kind of spent a lot of time on him uh, made, making sure that you know got that face looking quite good you know he looks kind of angry doesn't he uh, got sort of a blue hue to his his iron hands and uh, try to make his armour look a little bit um, sort of worn as well. Uh, so I've got some of the um, the technical paint sort of around the brass there. So anywhere that there's brass, I've, I've used that. Um, I've tried to sort of give a, a sort of a kind of an oily look on all of these uh, sort of chains that are hanging down. Um, I think if you're going to paint a Primark, you've got to do it properly. You've got to go to that, you know, the next level 
uh, of your painting really to push yourself. Uh, but as I said, they do kind of, you know, paint themselves with the detail. So I think you will actually surprise surprise yourselves with the results that you can get out of them. Um, they are quite fiddly in terms of the bits. Uh, there's loads of really small bits, and Forge World don't really do the best instructions on Primark. So like all these chains hanging down um, around the uh, the shoulder pads, they're all individual. You stick those on. Uh, I think the hammer's in like three three pieces. Um, I painted this pretty much in bits and then stuck it all together. Uh, that servo harness, that was a bit of a bitch to put together to be honest with you. I think that was about four or five different pieces there and then all those wires are all separate. But well worth putting the extra effort in. I absolutely adore this model now. Why I didn't get this sooner, I have no, no idea. Um, you may think looking at a model 60 quid is expensive but when you look at them you're like yeah I can justify 60 quid on something this good so uh, yeah that's it anyway that's me rambled out uh, so thanks for watching guys uh, I will still be adding to this force I want to try and add some more troops I usually run pride of the legion um, that makes my force kind of restricted really to Pride of the Legion by having all the um, the veterans. So I want some just bog standard marines. So what with um, Prospero uh, being out now, uh, I think I might invest in that and use some of those Mark Threes with some of the Forge World upgrades just to get some some troops and then get some of the Forge World Rhinos uh, and then I can run so, uh, the iron hands uh, detachment itself or um, any of the others really rather than just going pr uh, pride of the legion so that's it um yeah so again as i said thanks for watching guys and uh we'll see you in the next one hopefully i won't leave it as long can't guarantee though you know what i'm like and uh yeah see you soon